set of Patriot League contests in men's lacrosse were exciting ones as Holy Cross picked up a huge upset win over number 8 Loyola, while Bucknell and Lehigh squeaked out one goal win. It was a snowy Saturday around the Patriot League, and that's nothing new for the Holy Cross Crusaders. After all that Mother Nature has thrown at New England this winter, they were ready for it. Holy Cross used a 7-1 run over two quarters to take a 9-6 lead over number 8 Loyola in the third quarter on Saturday. And Terry McKenna capped a 3-0 run to make it 12-7 early in the fourth. Loyola rallied to cut it to 13-12 with 46 seconds left. But it wasn't enough as Michael Ortlieb made his 13th save in the final minute to seal the upset win. Bucknell's Sean Doyle capped a 4-0 run in the fourth at Navy to put the Bison up 7-5. After the mids, TJ Hanshee nodded the score back up at 7 with 327 left. Doyle emerged as the hero in the final minute, scoring the game winner for Bucknell with 51 seconds left. Patrick Corbett scored five goals to lead Lehigh out to a 6-2 advantage at halftime over Boston U. The Terriers stormed back to tie it at 9 with 454 left, but with the man-up opportunity, Corbett made it 10-9 with 237 left and the Mountain Hawks held on for the win. Colgate's Ryan Walsh scored four goals and had a pair of assists as the Raiders rolled out to an 8-2 halftime lead over Lafayette. The Leopards rallied to cut it to 11-7 in the fourth, but Walsh scored again and the Raiders held on for the 12-10 win. Army was on the bye last week in league play and the Black Knights will open this weekend at home against Lafayette. Lehigh and Loyola will meet Saturday in a rematch of the 2014 championship game and Holy Cross will play its first game in program history as a ranked team when it hosts Navy. Women's lacrosse non-league play will continue this weekend as Navy sits atop the standings at 3-1, ahead of Lehigh at 2-1. Bucknell and Navy each won series over the weekend to sit atop the non-league standings in baseball. Bucknell swept its series at VCU with Joe Ogren leading the charge with eight hits, including a home run, three RBIs, and four runs scored. Navy took two out of three against Maryland Eastern Shore as Luke Gillingham provided yet another stellar performance. It came in the only loss of the series, but the junior lefty struck out 14 in seven innings of shutout one-hit ball. He now has 30 strikeouts in 14 innings while allowing just two hits. Softball was idle last week, so the standings remain the same. We also had the Patriot League track and field and swimming and diving championships over the weekend. And you can find all of the highlights on PatriotLeague.tv. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Pulowski.